Greetings, YouTube. I received a package today from Wales, um, from Sarah of Clumsiness is a Curse here on YouTube. And first of all, I'd like to say that I am quite impressed with the quality of the wrapping um, job here. It was very well done, and it, it arrived in amazingly good condition. All I can say is that the Royal Mail of Wales is significantly better at their job than the Royal Mail of England, who apparently uh, gives jobs to soccer hooligans. Um, so as is the tradition amongst the denizens of YouTube, I shall now do an unboxing. is yes I can get it out in one piece get that out of my way excellent it is wrapped in comic themed cool this would be uh, along the lines of the art that Sarah enjoys sharing with people through the mail I'll be saving this box because it's very cool and it comes in two nice convenient pieces which is also very cool Alrighty, we have tissue paper, which I'll be giving to my cats at the moment. We have a thank you note. Um, thank you, Sarah. Much appreciated. Okay, first things first. <laughs> it is a ball full of Lego figures. Which is very, very cool. First of all, I just kind of like the ball. It's kind of nice. It appears. Oh, we got, got a helmet in there. Nice. I like. I, I like knights. I have a couple of. I actually have two or three knights hanging on my refrigerator from um, Lego. We have um, official Monopoly uh, pocket tissues, which I'm sure I shall put to good use. Probably carry in my car. Um, they're always handy to have. There is some festive. Uh, tissue paper. And here is the famous Mountain Dew lip balm that Sarah um, waxed poetic about. Wax poetic. Um, we have a pin which says purple pepper pepper design from the UK. Let me just bring this right in there. And there we go. It's kind of cool. What else do we have? Ooh. There's a bookmark with a pinup girl on it, no less. Excellent. I'm always looking for bookmarks for my gaming books. Very good. Of course, I don't want to get that near my cat. He sees that ribbon, and it's gone. <laughs> and, <laughs> and here we have an M&M sporting the Union Jack and a mankini, which is something I've never encountered before. Um, 20 years, two people, one day. David Nichols, the international bestseller. Oh, it's a book. And it's interestingly set up because it's set up in this orientation, which is quite interesting. Cool. I'll have to give that a look. I've never, I don't know if I've ever encountered a book with that would had that particular orientation before. It's kind of neat. Ooh, this is pretty. Watercolor. It's quite attractive. Oh, with a good, a nice little frame, nice little spot on the wall. Oh, now this is nice. This is nice. Whoops. Eh, get off there. We have a hand drawn fish. Very good, and it's from. I do. Stripey Goose Dot Making. This is also part of the the art exchange. I believe that Sarah is involved with. This is a nice little um, sort of a wave abstract, which I quite like. 
it kind of vaguely reminds me of some Japanese prints I've seen. And here we have a very bright, um, very summery, uh, springy type image. Very nice little flowers. I kind of think that's kind of cool. What else do we have in here? We have a paper clip that has, I mean, a clothespin, which has been decorated, which is kind of cool. What else do we have? Ooh, now this is, this is interesting. It's a nice bird and cat theme. It has a nice uh, three-dimensional aspect to it. I like that. It has a nice, it has a nice feel to it. Here we have, whoops, here we have, um, this is from Italy, and we get this in the right position. I think this is the position it's supposed to be in. Nice color blue. <laughs> Sarah has absolutely no knowledge of this fact, but I collect noses. I have numerous noses in my collection, um, in ceramic, in metal, and in foam rubber. So this is particularly appropriate. Here we have one which is um, a combination of uh, stitching and magazine cutouts. And they stitched right through the magazine and created a very interesting design. Again, this is a nice nice three-dimensional aspect to it. Very cool. That's quite attractive. And then we have one that says red and um, red. Um, I think that the theme on this particular piece might be red. And then we have more pins from the um, purple pepper design. Get that one in there, this little spiral design. <laughs> and last but not least, we have mustaches. See me? It's a little darker than mine. And that one, that one that is a little, little grayer than mine, but, but for frankly not, not a whole lot lighter than mine. And I'm fast approaching a color very similar to that. Um, and again, this is presented in a very attractive box um, with a, a superhero theme, which I, I appreciate because um, I am a fan of superheroes, um, even though I'm not much of a reader of comics any longer. So, Sarah, uh, I thank you. And I actually have been putting a few items together because I'm going to be uh, returning the favor and something's up to you, something to you. And in the U.S., we have to fill out a detailed custom form. It's required. So make sure you don't look at the custom form. Um, and if you want to be surprised, so just gloss over that part um, and open the package. And if, and if you'd like to do an unboxing, I'd appreciate it. Again, it's the tradition of us denizens here on the YouTubes. Um, but thank you. Um, this made me smile. And I look forward to putting together the Lego figures because I always like Lego figures. They're cool. Um, and the art is really quite nice. Um, I'm quite impressed with uh, the pieces that you have received in the mail. Um, pity I wasn't more artistically talented. Um, thank you again, Sarah, and I look forward to seeing your next video.